Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be sharing with you some um, upcoming releases uh, that will be in Priceline very, very shortly. I was really, really lucky to have attended the launch um, of this and so um, I've got all the low down, I've got all the prices, I've got some samples of the products to show you. So we're talking about Models Prefer and they've done a second collection, or I should say Samantha Jade has done a second collection with Models Prefer. Um, so there's a whole bunch of new products coming out very, very shortly that um, she has worked quite um, quite heavily on. So it was really lovely to meet her. Um, she seemed like a very, very sweet girl, very down to earth. And she was saying that she was very, very happy that she had such a hands-on approach um, to this collection. Um, so this is the second collection or the second collaborative collection uh, between Priceline uh, or Models Prefer and um, Samantha Jade. And um, the way that both parties were speaking uh, made it seem like there's going to be something more coming very, very shortly. So um, keep your eyes uh, out for this. So a few of the products that were released last time around are being re-released and then there's a whole bunch of new stuff coming as well. Alright, so Models Prefer is actually an in-house brand for Priceline. A lot of people don't know that. They seem to think that it's an uh, independent brand, um, but it is created by Priceline. It's sort of like a... Um, a more affordable option from the drugstore. Um, so, you know, Priceline has quite a few affordable brands in it, but there's a lot of brands in there that still do get up in price, like L'Oreal, for example, great products, um, fairly good price point, but it's still starting to get up there in price. Revlon, I think, is in the same kind of um, uh, category there. So, um, uh, Models Prefer is something that's just in Priceline, it's owned by Priceline, produced by Priceline. They use all the same sort of factories as uh, the other brands, so a lot of their stuff is produced in uh, Europe. Um, and because they don't have to do a lot of marketing, their price points can be actually quite low. Um, so you're going to get a lot of similar quality products, but just for a lower price point. So all of the products in this collection have really nice packaging, just simple black like cardboard for the palettes uh, with rose gold or bronzy kind of details. This one here is the Strobe to Glow. Um, this is one that was released already last year, but this one sold out in a matter of days. Um, we have just, you know, standard cardboard, no mirror, that's fine. There's some instructions there, and then we have a whole bunch of uh, highlighters or strobing powders. Um, this one here, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Anastasia one, the um, Nicole Guerrero one. Um, the shades are a little bit different, but just the layout and the way it kind of uh, meshes together kind of reminds me of that. We have two rows there and this top row here is more geared towards lighter skin tones and this one here is towards sort of more medium to dark skin tones. The texture of these are not too bad. They feel really nice and smooth. Um, I feel like some of the shades come off looking a little bit similar on the skin. Now I only did very light swatches there and they've come off looking very very powdery so I personally would use a very light hand with these and um, I think the best way to use these would be a, with a fan brush. Um, this one here is available or will be available for $19.99 so a very very reasonable price. The second item is uh, a nude liquid lipstick lip kit. Um, so you get two liquid lipsticks in the uh, package and these are $17.99 for the both of them. And we have kind of like a pink mauvey nude and then a quite a brown nude. Now wait, wait for this. Uh, these are the shades here. I actually swatched those on my hand last night. Let them dry, went to bed. It's now 2 o'clock in the afternoon and they're still there. And I've washed my hands and all that sort of stuff. So these are very much long wearing. They really tend to stick to the skin. This brown one here has faded just a little bit. Um, but they're very, very pigmented and they look great on. I'm wearing this shade here which is bare pink. And then there's the brown which is true nude. Great value, really nice products. Uh, the next item, again, this is something that has returned from last time but with a slight variation this is the brush kit um, and this time the brush kit is in a white leather look kind of travel case I really like these I think it's really handy uh, if you are out and about you can turn this into um, a couple of cups one for your clean brushes one for your dirty brushes and um, there is a lot of room in there to bring some extra brushes if you want to but this is a six piece um, travel brush set along with the um, case and in the collection you get three sort of face brushes and three eye brushes we have um, a medium sized um, powder brush that would be great for loose setting powder or, or pressed powder um, also wouldn't be too bad for blush we have a smaller kind of multi-use tool here uh, so again, that could be blush, it could be highlighter, and then we have an angled, um, you know, either blush or contour brush there. These feel nice and soft, actually. For the price point, this is going to be $59.95. They're not, they don't feel cheap. They don't feel like the best quality. I feel like 
these the ferrules and the um the handles feel a little bit on the cheap side but the actual brush hairs feel really really nice um and then in terms of, in terms of the eyes we have an eye they just call this one the eyeshadow brush that's a blending brush and then we have a um eyebrow brush so it's a nice little collection i think they look really nice with the rose gold ferrule um, yeah, can't really complain. I'm going to actually take these on the road with me next time I travel. Now for some brand new products. Um, Samantha was very excited about this. She is uh, absolutely obsessed with red lips and so she is very glad to have now brought out another lip kit. This is a lipstick and lip liner in the beautiful red shade. Uh, the shade they call this one is actually Rouge. Um, and as I said, you do get a red lip liner and it's very, very smooth. It's quite a bright red. And then you get a lipstick in this square black packaging. This reminds me a lot of the NARS packaging. It even has a magnetic close, but it's kind of a more budget friendly one. So the plastic's a little bit um, cheaper than the NARS ones and the magnet isn't quite as strong, but it's still strong enough that it's not going to fall off in your bag. So I really appreciate that from a drugstore lipstick. And again, it's the same red shade. So it's nice and smooth. It's matte. It's a... Uh, not too slippery so it looks like it's going to stay put quite well it's got a really like fresh almost lemony scent to it too so that's interesting but yeah i love that and that lip kit was also 17.99 now last year um these were flying off the shelf so um they are going to be re-releasing the nude eyeshadow palette uh that was called the uncovered nude eyeshadow palette i believe and it was 17.99 and now they've added another sort of baby to the collection. This one is called All of the Lights um, Eyeshadow Palette and it contains some more um, sort of on-trend colours. Um, so we have six quite deep pigmented shades there. My only criticism of this palette is that they are all in a kind of satin finish, so there's no mattes here. But they're not so shiny that you're actually going to be tell you're going to tell all that much on the eyes. My favourite shades in this has to be the um, bronzy brown the um, scarlet shade, that red shade there, and then that orange shade is beautiful too. Again, they feel nice and soft. The red there, actually, is beautiful. That red is so soft. That's the bronzy shade. That's the orangey shade. And that's the red shade. So some nice pigmentation there. Now that I look at the red, it's actually a lot more matte than I thought it would be. So that's quite interesting. So I still don't think it's a pure matte. But it looks a lot more matte than the others. But how on trend is that red colour? There are some instructions for two um, looks as well in that. So it's a quite a nice little palette. I don't think it's something you can use alone. But you definitely could use this one in conjunction with the nude one and create a whole bunch of different looks. Um, but very small, very slim, very, very light feeling. Um, and $17.99, so a great price point. I'm just covered in swatches here. But the last two products are the ones that I'm probably most excited for um, because this is the first time we're kind of seeing these in the drugstore. So these are products that there are others out there like it, but you need to go to a kind of high-end um, brand to see these sort of things. The first thing um, are the eye shimmers. Now these, um, I, now these, um, you know, Samantha was saying that she really, really enjoys using loose pigments, um, but there was really nothing available in the drugstore that was of a similar quality to what she was uh, using, which was the MAC pigments. And so um, they went ahead and produced a trio of shades. So there is Starlet, which is a silvery shimmer, Soul, which is a bronzy gold, and then Azure, which is a nice mid-tone blue. All right, I haven't really looked at these at all yet. Let's have a look if we can. They do have a sifter on the top. All right, so there's quite a lot of pigment there, and they're quite shimmery. So they um, have quite a bit of potential. I'd like to play with these a little more, I think. And this trio is $19.99. So these um, eyeshadows are quite staining, if you can see that. And it looks like you're going to need an oil to take off these um, liquid lips because they're not coming off with a baby wipe. Oh, actually, they're starting to. But they're, yeah, you're definitely going to need something um, high-powered to get these off. And then lucky last is an additional lipstick. Um, this one is more of a balm than a lipstick, but it's kind of following that K-beauty trend where you have the clear lipsticks um, that are colour changing. So this is the Gold Leaf Lipstick, and you'll see in a second that it's absolutely stunning. It's that same packaging with the um, magnetic close. It's quite a ma weak magnet, but it is there. It's actually a clear lipstick, and it has a tiny little gold flex, a little gold sparkle, and um, it goes on clear, and then it will change depending on your pH. So let's see what sort of colour it appears for me. All right, so it's going on clear. It feels really nice and smooth, and slowly it's starting to change. Oh, it's becoming quite a nice bright pink. It doesn't smell as far as I can tell. 
and I haven't got any gold glitter on there yet so it's really just designed to give a flush of color um, and some moisture to the lips all right so that's it that's the entire collection that is coming uh, very soon from Samantha Jade and Models Prefer. These are hitting stores June 22nd. So if you like anything that you see here, make sure you to order online or run into store very, very quickly because I do feel like some of this stuff is going to sell out uh, quickly again, particularly the Glow Palette because I just think it's it's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, if there's any questions, please let me know. Uh, if you'd like swatches of anything else, then oh, again, let me know. But otherwise, uh, thanks for watching and thanks for joining me in my little corner of the internet and I'll catch you next time. Bye.